Tonight uh, we are hosting a show of the paintings of Amina Ansari, uh, which are basically all portraits, uh, including ones of people that I know, um, which I can therefore vouch are absolutely perfect uh, in their representations. Um, the reason that I wanted uh, to host the show uh, of these paintings of Amina is that she is quite remarkably talented and she is also uh, talented in a way that I feel that the modern day art establishment often neglects, i.e. that she is technically a uh, superb graphic artist and those are the sort of skills that are somewhat trivialized uh, by today's modern uh, art establishment who are very much preoccupied with conceptual art and all sorts of what I would call very gimmicky art and it's great to be able to host somebody who actually believes in painting, in painting in oils and in putting all her passion uh, into the portrayal of a personality. I think that is extremely important and it's a, a, a great tradition portraiture in, uh, in our art and I feel that uh, Amina manages to combine, uh, if you like, the main uh, tradition of portrait painting with her own particular uh, and unique style and insight. So for example they're extraordinarily colourful pictures and they are truly beautiful and they take your breath away. We're delighted and, and honoured actually that we can play a part in bringing Amina nearer to a wider public consciousness. So um, do come and have a look at the pictures. We actually haven't had an exhibition before um, and one of the reasons for that is that an awful lot of the work 
that we see now, the passes for art, uh, is frankly, I would say, uh, should we say, uh, uh, ambivalent anyway in its appeal. Um, and uh, one of the reasons why uh, I was so pleased that uh, Amina uh, is exhibiting tonight is because it is such a, a, an inspiration to have somebody who is not just someone who cares about her art, but who is also a wonderful technical artist, a wonderful draftswoman, is that the word? Draftswoman, draftsman. And we can see the results around us. Uh, there's absolutely no reason why we are standing in front of this picture. It's pure, <laughs> pure, pure, pure coincidence, but I don't know whether you remember, but a few um, uh, weeks ago, there was a picture that went on uh, exhibition at the National Portrait Gallery uh, of uh, Duchess of Cambridge, um, which was a very, very good picture of her aged about 50. Yeah. Um, and I think this is infinitely superior. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but it's only one tiny part of Amina's output. So we're delighted. Um, and I also want to thank uh, very much uh, Richard Smith, uh, who is essentially hosting this evening here at Tufton Street. Um, and uh, for his uh, enthusiasm about uh, Amina's painting. Um, when you see them, you know, people's eyes light up because people know what real talent is. I really believe this, you know? And uh, you have it. And so without further ado, I want to just uh, ask Amina if she'll say a few words, and then I think we should uh, toast your future career, which uh, I hope this helps in some way, and I, I think will be a really distinguished one, because it certainly deserves to be. So thank yeah. you, Amina. Thank, so thank, thank, thank you so much, Paul, and Jesus, especially for um, answering this, but each all of you are very special. That came to my big day. And first of all, I'd like to give my special thank to my mother, because if you, if you look at my house, there's no room to move. <laughs> so we have three to her elbow and me and, and her face in the world. So I'm really grateful for that. Thank you so much, Amin. And I would so much like to thank Simon, who is my greatest asset, to my little brother for English writing. And thank you so much for introducing me to Pete and this podcast. I really appreciate it. And um, I would keep Dan Licious and Pete for organizing this exhibition in a very wonderful manner, thank you so much. And I would expect that when it comes to colours, there's a sun, there's a window, and there's a glass of water. And I can see this very black and white. When you see a light coming through the window and through the glass, you will see a merge of rainbow colours. This is how I visualise the colour in the beauty. And this is how I see you today, so thank you so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This evening I was very impressed with the artwork of uh, Amina Ansari uh, and uh, I was impressed with the work that she's done um, and, and, and created some beautiful pictures and uh, it is always good to see uh, a growing talent uh, from uh, minority communities and I hope that uh, uh, she uh, does well and her work is promoted through various exhibitions and uh, uh, she will go a long way in this profession my best wishes to her. She is so, so talented and it is disgraceful that she doesn't have work in somewhere like the National Portrait Gallery. Um, there is so much bad art around these days. To see an artist of real talent is a joy and I congratulate her. Amina 
is uh, a, a great talent and we hope that uh, by allowing her to use this building tonight that we in some way help her to uh, progress her career and to get her the, um, the, the well, the, 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 to, 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 to get her noticed in the way that she really deserves. Hi, I'm Asif Jahangir. I'm a friend of Amina's, or rather I'm no Amina to her mother and her mother's foundation. Anyway, I'm really impressed by Amina's art. There's, even though the title or the subject seems very simple, there's a depth of texture and feeling that draws you into the painting and leaves you or leaves your imagination room to explore. So all in all this has been a wonderful exhibition and I'm very privileged to have been able to come and see it. Amina's paintings are beyond incredible. Burst of color is the first impression I get. And her style, very distinctive style, you can see in each and every painting. It's almost like a point tell. And she was explaining it to me how she perceives light that comes in through the window or falls on her subjects as not just light, but she actually sees the different hues of the colors. And you can actually see that. And understanding that makes the experience of actually looking at it so much more richer. So, hats off to her. Congratulations, Amina. Great work. It was a great pleasure to be here. As a matter of fact, when I walked in, I knew very little about paintings. But now when I'm going out, I know about the colors, the colors combination. And as a matter of fact, I mean, I, when I came here, I thought I was just supporting my friend uh, Amina and uh, encourage her. But uh, after this learning exercise, I think uh, what I have to do is learn from her. And I wish her all the success in the world. Thank you very much indeed. All the best. I'm really impressed with Amina's painting. Um, I only met Amina recently. And to be honest with you, I'm just absolutely astounded. I think she's one of the most gifted people I have ever met. The colours in the paintings and the vibrancy, she really, really brings out her subjects well. I think she's an amazingly talented artist and I really, really hope that she goes far in life and I'm sure she will. Um, I just think that Amina's paintings are incredible. I mean, um, immediately when you look at them, you are immediately drawn in. Um, particularly her use of colours is uh, uh, very, very... Uh, uh, well done um, and I think by far the, um, the painting of the Duchess uh, really impressed me um, I think uh, that this very superior uh, painting so you can really see um, it's such a great way to see how all her work is coming together this evening um, so well done Amina. Absolutely delighted to, to have Amina's work here Amina Ansari has an extraordinary grip on conveying the personality of a sitter through sheer technical skill. And I think that is the fundamental aim of art, to do something so well that people don't need to have a 300 page document explaining why they think it's good they just see that it is good it communicates to them it, 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 it is a form of communion with the medium with physical reality and it's a very very proud evening for me to be with the family and to be with somebody so talented.
very, very lucky, very, very blessed to be in a corporate world full of genuine and kind people in this you know, exhibition. So that's my um, biggest satisfaction today. Um, you would not believe that I was up till 9 o'clock in the morning preparing the exhibition. So I, I slept in my last stretch and I woke up at 3 o'clock before I came to the exhibition. This is the first time that I'm actually going to respond and going to most um, feedback, most love. Um, I've been human again and it is one of my best days in my life. I have to thank my mother uh, because she gave me the room in her corner to um, pay where she got a lot of bruises in her arm and legs. <laughs> and I would have to keep quiet and look away from her. And um, my other friend is my Peter, Peter Witcher, Simon Richard. These are my new dashing life, having me to go for in the future. So um, I have no words to express, but overall it's a fantastic experience and I'm very lucky. Thank you so much.